Security. You're sitting at home, you're sitting on your couch, you say you're gonna subscribe later. No, do it right now. Do it right now. You're not doing nothing. You're watching the video. Go ahead, subscribe. You do it right now. Do it right now. I really I don't even know what happened. This is my second time filming this. The audio on the first one got messed up for whatever reason. I ain't realized until I got ready to edit it. So we gonna run this back, man. Hopefully it sound a little better this time. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy 3 back at it again with another video, man. Again, as y'all can see by the title, this is another story time. This is a story time by the time my co-worker tried to fuck me while I was working at Dollar General. So, this story go back a couple of years because I was like 20, 2019 at the, at the time. So, this is like 2020. So, this shit is crazy because all this happened like right after me and my own. My girlfriend at the time had broke up. We had been together for three years prior. And it's so funny. I'm only telling it because it's, it play a part in the story. But, yeah, so I used to dead ass work at the Dallas Journal. This on um, Buford Highway right by Best Friends. If y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know Carl, you know what I'm talking about. But I used to work there and I was a store manager there. So, everybody there that worked there was older than me like. I was the youngest person there, and I, was, I never had no problems with nothing like that, because everybody always thought I was cool, everybody listened to what I had to say, so it was never really no back and forth interaction with nothing, I was, I'm really mature, so it was like, you know, stuff went smooth, and that's also where I met my partner, Vicky, man, that's my dog, to this day, she had got hired up there, and we've been, we've been partners ever since, because her birthday is around the same time as mine, she's Gemini, and we just, we just clicked ever since, like, that's still my dog to this day, and I only work at that store, and we only work together in that, or whatever, but. I can't remember when, but at some point in time, another girl ended up, some point in time, another girl ended up getting hired there. Now, like I said, I'm 20 at the time. The girl's like 26. She's a little cute girl with dreads, glasses, but like from Jump Street when she got there, you could tell like she liked me, like she wanted to talk to me type thing, but like I had a girlfriend, so I wasn't really worried about it. Once she like, once I kind of like, yeah, chill out, then you got a girlfriend. She ain't really bother me and nothing like that but like she had just been talking to Vic and her and Vic is cool and she just always be saying what she want to do you still like that you feel me so me and the girl ended up breaking up and again another side story that kind of don't got nothing to do with this but it like it kind of is a reason why I went the way it went is I was a late bloomer I don't know about y'all with sex and all this other stuff but I wasn't sexually actually until like going into 11th grade or 10th grade summer, 9th grade summer, one of them. So like 10th, 11th grade is when I lost my virginity. So I ain't been having sex and doing this that long and been in certain situations to know these is not real. I mean, that these are real situations that happens. Like I don't know nothing about no friends with benefits. No, do you fit none of that shit just because like I ain't ran into none of that yet. So when we broke up, so when we broke up, goddamn, the girl would be on me even harder, like at work type shit. She'd be on, like, come on, come on, come on. Like, woo, woo, like just trying to give me, like, she was trying to come and give me, come fast, like, all type of stuff. So, at one point, I was like, fuck, because the girl stayed around the corner from Dollar General type thing. Like, she stayed around the corner from the job. So, like, she would always try to get me to come over there on my breaks or, like, when we got off, woo, woo, and I would never go over there. Because, like I said, I don't know about y'all, but, bro, me and the girl was together for three years. So, it, it took a little time for me to just be like, all right, bet. Because that was the only person I had ever, like, really planned life with and some old shit and, like, thought this was going to be, you feel me? Like, I probably would have had a, a kid by now if me and her was still together, to be honest with you. So, it's like, it was one of them. Like, it wasn't just like, all right, fuck, I'm free. Let me go. You feel me? I, I wasn't on that. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it buck, man. I wasn't on that. So, after a while, and I kind of got off, I'm like, all right, bet. This is what it is for now. You feel me? I decided I'm gonna go over there one day because, like, this lady grown, like, at least to me, she's 26, is grown as hell, especially to me at like 19, 20. So I'm like, what the fuck do she go with me? And she keeps saying she just wanna give me head and some more shit. So I went over there one day. And I ain't gonna lie to you, twin. It is the reason why she got a baby and had a husband before some more shit. But that girl just took a goddamn dent out of car, twin. I'm talking about peanut butter through a straw. I want. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She, she, yeah. And then it was so weird because it was like, do you not want nothing? Because it wasn't one of them like, she made it like, oh, I gotta fuck her or we gotta do some shit. She's like, I dead ass would go over there, get head, chill, shit, give me snacks. I'd sit there, chill till I wanted to leave, then I'd leave or some shit. She wouldn't blow me up. She wouldn't do, like, she wouldn't do nothing with So I never understood because, like I said, 
at this time, I don't know what no friends with benefits is. I don't know what cougar. I don't know what none of that shit is. So it's like I'm just. I'm just kind of here on some shit. You feel me? Like, I'm not really knowing what's going or, or nothing. You feel me? I'm just, like, alone for the ride. So, this is going on for a little while. Like, I'll go over to get here, leave type shit. And it was, like I said, it was one of them, like, she never made it seem like we had to do nothing or nothing like that. And I and I, I think at the time I did want to do nothing with her because I knew she kind of liked me and I ain't want to have sex with her name. You feel me? Like, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't trying to lead people on. I ain't on that one, twin. I ain't like, yeah, that all ass you don't got to hit and all that. You feel me? I ain't on that one. So, but I think I did end up smashing a girl, like, later on down the line. Like, way later on down the line. Oh, like, on some humbug shit. Like, I fucked around the scene or some shit, whatever case it be. But, yeah, that was just, I don't know. It was just, I don't know. Like, what was, I don't, I don't know. Like, I was just, I don't know. That situation was kind of weird for me. But it was just, like, one of them, like, whoop shit. It's already here. And nigga was kind of sad. <laughs> I think it was kind of sad at the time, bro. Because I had just lost, you feel me? Like, so I'm just like, shit, this is what it is. Then it was, like, it was kind of exciting. Because I'm like, this is the first grown bitch I never talked to. Because I don't talk to, like, big age gaps. I don't do that. Because, I don't know, I don't do that. But, so it was kind of, I'm just like, damn, this is, this is like, ooh, like, I don't know, it was, I don't know what it was about this situation, but it was a weird, interesting situation for me, nonetheless, I will say, but, yeah, but yeah, that's the time that the co-worker gave me in, like, she's not working with, but, also, man, if y'all figuring, trying to figure out how I'm getting these story time ideas, bro, I'm getting them because I post them on my, on my Instagram, bro, like, all these stories are real, but most of the time, if I don't know which one to pick, or I don't know which one I want to see more, I post a poll on, on Instagram, let them vote, they voted this one, there was one up there for Harry Girl, um, my cousin Sneaky Link, and a wet cheeseburger in my pocket, I'm not telling y'all nothing, and, um, I should have put my car accident up there, but I did, but, most nine times ten, if I do another story time before I do another video, it's gonna be one of them, and it's gonna be a poll up. So if y'all not following me on Instagram, tap in with my Instagram, be connected with me everywhere, so y'all can be a part of what's going on, man. Y'all can tell me, DM me, which I want to see, which I want to see me do, with video ideas, like all that. I be open, I be dead ass having polls open and letting people decide like what's gonna go on. You feel me? Cause like y'all the ones watching, so but. Continue to like and subscribe to the channel, man. Like this video, blow it up like I did the last one. Continue to support, love everything I got going on, man. I appreciate y'all more than you know for the show. Again, tap in with the Instagram. Everything is three from the north. Everything. Everything is three from the north. That's why I changed the name on here, and that's why I changed my name on Instagram. Cause I want everything to be one brand, one name. So everything is three from the north on everything I got. So tap in with me, man. Again, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Y'all stay safe to the next video, man. Gang, we out of here. And also, my bad, real quick before we get out of here, bro. I, the Harry Girl story time I really want to do because it's really, I got questions. Like, I I, I got questions for the females. Type, did they see if I was wrong, see if it was better the way I could have went about this. Like, is it, so that that's for the girls. So when, when that story time get up, fellas, I don't even need y'all to watch that shit. I don't need y'all to comment below, none of that shit. I, I, females only, I need y'all help. Like, I'm this is real. Like, like, I'm not telling that story to talk about her nothing because she a good-ass girl. Like, she... Whoever talked to her, like, that's going to be a good girlfriend. She has a good head on her shoulders and shit. But certain shit, I ain't dealing with. So, I just, I'm going to probably do that story time next because that's the one that came in second. And that's the one niggas been hitting me up about, even though saying, if you do this one, do make sure you do this one still type thing. So, that's probably going to be the next video. But, yeah. So, yeah.